Hello, my basking shark and owl lovers. Sorry for that leave of absence. We are finally back with another cryptid profile. And today, I'll do my first non-animal, and I guess non-terrestrial cryptid. A cryptid which was supposedly spotted high above our heads. In space. 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 So, I guess let's just get right to it. This famous image here has been a common sight on the internet in recent years, surfacing on various paranormal websites and YouTube channels regarding the paranormal. Most people claim it is evidence of an ancient extraterrestrial spacecraft that has orbited Earth for thousands of years. The photo coined the Black Knight Satellite has henceforth been connected to a global conspiracy involving everything from the Illuminati, reptilians, Aztecs, and Nikola Tesla. I mean, what global conspiracy doesn't involve those four things? The problem is, most people scarcely know anything accurate about the photo's origin, conditions, and, well, truth of it, thus spreading vast amounts of misinformation. But I guess that's why I'm here. The Black Knight satellite photo was taken during the NASA STS-88 mission in 1998. The mission itself was the first space shuttle attempt to the newly created International Space Station and lasted from December 3rd to December 15th. The photo itself was taken on December 11th, 1998, above the Atlantic Ocean near the southwest coast of Africa. And contrary to most sources, more than one image of the object was taken. Five other photos were taken of the object as it moved more and more distantly from the camera, tumbling and rolling in the process. These multiple photos clearly demonstrate that this object was flat and almost sheet-like, as well as reflective and almost definitely metallic, possessing various folds and creases. All these photos can be viewed on the NASA-run Gateway to Astronaut Photography of Earth, which catalogs every photo taken above Earth's atmosphere, giving their exact location, time, photo conditions, and a brief description of the subject. NASA's description of all these photos is labeled Space Debris, which links to dozens of other examples of trash and man-made materials discarded on NASA missions into space, hardly a UFO or alien vehicle. Now, I know what all you conspiracy theorists are going to say. The government is trying to hide evidence of the existence of aliens. So, okay then, let's further examine the STS-88 mission and not just take NASA's word for it. Now, it's important to remember that it is extremely common for astronauts during missions to either intentionally or accidentally discard man-made materials taken aboard the mission into the vacuum of space. In fact, on the STS-88 mission, several objects were lost both intentionally and accidentally. One such object was this, an insulation blanket which is used to cover bare metal areas on the outside of the ship and stop heat leaks into outer space. They are highly reflective and fold up when they are put into storage compartments, all characteristics common of the subject in the photo. At one point during this particular mission, astronauts need to secure them on the outside of the ship. During such an action, one of these insulation blankets became untethered and drifted off into space. Two videos exist which record this incident on the exact day and time which the Black Knight photos were taken. During both videos, one can see the insulation blanket tumbling and rolling into space, gleaming in the sunlight, resembling the Black Knight, well, exactly. And if that still doesn't convince you, an individual by the name of Ectoplasm 8 was able to point out the Black Knight object possessed the exact same cuts, creases, and tears that the insulation blanket lost during the mission bared. I, for one, think it's extremely safe to say that the Black Knight satellite has been thoroughly debunked. It clearly was an insulation blanket that was accidentally lost during the mission. This is an opinion shared by countless other skeptics, as well as NASA itself. Now, the mythology and legends surrounding the image claiming it is 13,000 years old, or Nikola Tesla received a transmission from it, are all lies and myths created by conspiracy theorists wanting to fool somebody who hasn't taken the time to do some research and fact-check them. Which makes me kind of sad when I see channels like Danger Dolan spreading horribly inaccurate and false information regarding the photo, instead of recognizing it as the boring and rather anticlimactic truth it is. Myself included, wanted it to turn out to be true, and I have to admit the photos are truly awesome looking, in my opinion resembling the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey, but nonetheless, we need to wake up and recognize the evidence. But what if? 
Well, this guy is rather difficult to do a what-if section on, uh, as very few organisms can exist in the void of space and definitely not for extended periods of time, especially ones larger than the water bear. And furthermore, the body plan seems rather unfit to travel in a vacuum, in a low, basically to zero gravity condition. Now, I'm going to take some time to talk about space fauna, because I like to talk about space crap. The problem with animals in space, or I like to call it space fauna, is that space is not a suitable habitat for really any organism. There aren't any nutrients, elements, or molecules that can be used in energy production and cellular respiration. The lack of a closed loop system leads to an early and inevitable failure, as gases and minerals are lost almost instantly and can never be regained. There isn't protection from harmful rays as well, possibly leading to cancers and genetic defects. The likelihood of you finding a mate is also incredibly slim, and it's so cold that body heat would be lost in an extreme rate. Locomotion without gravity would be entirely alien, as legs, arms, tails, etc. would be useless. In a vacuum, without a medium of gas such as air or liquid such as water to glide, swim, or fly through, nor a stable ground to press against, legs, tails, or wings, or basically anything we see on Earth animals are completely out of question. Propulsion by gas release through jets would be the only option. In reality, animals and creatures in space unprotected are basically utterly impossible, the lack of air, water, minerals, and a closed-loop ecosystem being the largest factors, so sadly, no space whales. But organisms placed and or genetically altered in a closed-loop ecosystem such as a hollowed-out asteroid or wholly artificial zero-g environment could be possible, and could be still weightless. Sealed ecosystems filled with minerals, gases, and water containing bizarre, thin, and spindly-bodied organisms which travel by releasing gases could be perceivable. These environments without gravity would undoubtedly lead to some of the most unusual and alien products of evolution in the universe. With pressurized insides, lacking feet or legs, and eyes probably pointing in every direction, and maybe even fins and wings for steering. Maybe in our future, weird domes that lack gravity will house strange experiments that stand as a testament to the amazing fluidity of life. But, bringing this back to the Black Knight satellite, holy crap, I got really off topic there, Something like the Black Knight satellite being an actual animal is impossible. Without a protected closed-looped ecosystem, animals could never last long without their planets in the void. If the Black Knight could actually be something, which it wasn't, it probably would be some artificial nanomachine-like being, or maybe a spacecraft of some kind. Organism is off the table due to its placement in one of the most inhospitable places in the universe. Well. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Next week, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure it's either realistic aliens again, uh, like a sort of correction of the last video, or Loch Ness. Alright, see ya. Thanks for watching.